Hi, and welcome to our instructional video that is designed to make you a smarter gambler. My name is Steve Borey, and I'm the author of the American Casino Guide, the number one best-selling book in the U.S. on the subject of casino gambling and travel, and the only book that comes with over $1,000 in casino coupons. If you want to know more about our book, be sure to visit our website at AmericanCasinoGuide.com. And if you have a smartphone or tablet, be sure to download our free app. Just go to the App Store or the Google Play Store and search for American Casino Guide. In this video, blackjack expert Henry Tam Buren discusses four confusing hands where a player's first thought may not be the correct way to play the hand properly. Most of the basic playing strategy is logical to players. For example, Players understand that they shouldn't hit a 16 when the dealer shows a 6-up card. Or they should split 8s when the dealer shows a 5. However, some of the basic strategy is not so intuitive. And these are the hands that I'm going to examine now and give you some justification for why we have to play by the basic playing strategy. And the first non-intuitive hand I want to discuss is a hard 11 against the dealer's 10. Basic strategy says to double down on 11 against the dealer's 10. However, the reality is many players will chicken out and hit instead because they are afraid that the dealer has a pat 20. Well, did you know that when the dealer has a 10 up card and he doesn't have a blackjack, he will wind up with a 20 roughly 33% of the time. Meanwhile, a player holding an 11 and taking just one card by doubling down has roughly a 31% chance of getting a 21 by drawing a 10 and an 8% chance of making a 20 when he draws a 9. Moreover, you are more likely to make a 20 or 21 with a one card draw to your 11 than the dealer is to make the 20. Think about this. If you draw a 7, 8, 9, or 10, and the dealer has the same card in the hole, you're still going to win. So for these reasons, this is why basic strategy tells you to double down an 11 against a 10. The second non-intuitive hand that I like to cover is splitting 8s against a dealer 10. If I told you that playing an 8 twice against a dealer 10 loses less money than playing a 16 once, would you believe me? Probably not, but guess what? It's true. When you hit 16 against a dealer 10, now pay attention to this, you're going to win only 23% of the time and you're going to lose 77%, meaning you're going to win about four hands out of 17. This is why holding a 16 against the 10 is the worst hand in blackjack. However, when your 16 is a pair of eights, you have an out, and that out is splitting, because now your chances of winning when you start each hand with a single 8 against a dealer's 10 are 38%. In both cases, either hitting or splitting, you're going to lose money. But it's still cheaper to win 38 hands and lose 62 on each split 8 than to win 23 hands and lose 77 once by hitting. This is the reason why when you're dealt a pair of eights against a ten, basic strategy says to always split them. The third non-intuitive hand is splitting nines against the nine. You know, it seems logical that you should split nines when the dealer shows a small card. However, most players, they just don't see the logic behind splitting nines against the dealer nine. So they decide to stand with their strong 18. However, a hard 18 will beat a dealer's nine 
only eight times out of 20. To get close to break even on this hand, you need to be aggressive and split. And you should also uh, keep in mind that in most casinos, the rules allow you to re-split and double after splitting is permitted. So that's an added incentive to split your nines because if you do and you draw a two, for example, you now have the opportunity of doubling down on that 11. So for these reasons, this is why you should always split nines against the nine and play by the basic playing strategy. The last non-intuitive hand that I want to cover is a soft 18 against a dealer's nine. Most players think that if they're, they've got an 18, that they're almost surely going to win the hand. But in the long run, you're going to end up losing more money than winning. However, because you've got an ace in your hand with a soft 18, you have some flexibility. If you stand on that soft 18, you're going to win about 8 times out of 20. If you hit, you're going to win 9 out of 20 hands. So you take your chances. Either you win 8 times or 9 times. Obviously, it's better if you win nine times, which is why basic strategy says you should always hit soft 18 against the nine. If you want to learn more about me, you can go to either one of my websites, either smartgaming.com or bjinsider.com. And if you go to the bjinsider.com website, you can sign up for three free issues of my Blackjack Insider newsletter. Don't forget that you can see more of our educational gambling videos on our YouTube channel. Just go to youtube.com slash American Casino Guide.